Hi everyone, this video is about React Carousel. Okay, how to use it, how to make a slider. Uh, and um, this is a very popular library which has 11 stars on GitHub and 69 million downloads. So we will create uh, an example like this. Okay, so we can make just uh, a single image in this place also. Yeah, if you want to display just one image, it will look like this. Okay, you can change it. Okay. So we can play around it and we can do a lot of things with this. So let's get started how to use it, how to implement it. So now let's get started. First of all, we will install it. Let's come to the docs and just come here to install it. We will just write this command and we install React Slick. Let's come to our project. This is our React project. Okay. We have here our this is our main component and app component. We have imported slider inside this. And in a slider, there is nothing, just an empty slider. Okay, so let's install it. We will like that. Okay, and we install React Slick. So it will install it. Yeah, that has installed successfully. Okay, so now let's close this and let's use it. Okay, to use it first, let's come here. Uh, we should install the CSS also. Let's copy this. I'm here paste it and it will be installed this is this slick carousel also yeah that has installed so now let's use it okay first of all we will just uh, let's come here to the examples and let's come here to this simple example so but uh, we would like to create a responsive so yeah first of all we will create just a simple example so let's first we will import these let's import them and after that let's uh, just copy this code ok I will use images ok later I will use images paste it here and after that let's copy the settings also Yes, we did it. So now let's uh, run our uh, application. So just write uh, npm run dev. So let's move to our your we faced with error. So let's check it. Yeah, we have imported it twice. Let's remove it. And also we have same name slider and slider. Let's uh, rename our slider component. Uh, I will rename it okay I have renamed okay so now let's run it from scratch again and we run div and let's move to this URL okay let's open it yeah we got this uh, so let's import our CSS files also for the CSS let's come here import them yeah we should uh, import these two okay select carousel select select that CSS and select carousel select select theme that CSS after importing them so let's check it now see it looks like this is the first one second one third one and the fourth one okay so now let's add images to these so to I add images I have in the public folder in image folder these images so let's add them uh, before adding images so let's add uh, uh, a card so I will just try something like this okay to all these this okay I will add sorry not there here and also here let's add class name and after that card and let's remove these and instead of this let's write images and the images I will write images slash uh, the first one with as is gate one dot jpg okay and I will update all of them but uh, before updating the images let's come here down and here I will light uh, um, dot card body okay it is another class inside that we will light for example h3 tag uh, sorry we should write like h3 tag after closing yeah, so now let's update our images first one is kit one this is 
k2 and this one is the beauty that we have and this, this one is uh, beauty 2 and let's copy this image and paste it here and also copy this one and paste it here we have these four images and after that let's add some design a text here in h3 uh, like slick okay let's add a p tag also we used react slick and copy this code and paste it in all of these others Control D, it will select all and paste them here. Okay, uh, we did everything. These are uh, bootstrap classes. Okay, this. Okay, uh, uh, sorry, this is not um, this card and card body. These are bootstrap classes. You can design it using CSS or Material UI. Okay, design is not a matter. So now let's uh, add uh, uh, width to our images. Okay, to add width, let's come to all of these images press alt and click there it will select all images and add a class name is equal to and add class name width under it ok so now let's check it see it looks like this now yeah it is ok we have this card body it is a looks like card but let's uh, uh, display uh, for example let's make it container ok last name container okay yeah it looks like this like a but here and the right side we have an arrow so let's customize that <coughs> so to customize that let's come here to the documentation and let's come here to this uh, custom arrow and to the custom arrow just copy this one function okay copy this one and paste it here and the top and make it just a row <coughs> and call this arrow yeah let's come here down and just copy this code after copying let's come here to the sitting uh, but before applying this arrow uh, we will uh, make it responsive okay to make it responsive just come here to the responsive example and copy all these settings that we have okay and paste it instead of this okay and let's change it for the larger devices it should display three and it should goes for two or two and for this uh, one uh, one two four pixel it should display two and for let's change it to 768 pixel for this it should display just one yeah so let's let's remove the last one let's check it is it responsive or not so for larger devices just three okay let's make it infinite infinite should be true yeah looks like this uh, let's make it or a smaller device you see it came to uh, not applied so let's check it where is the problem yeah we should just uh, let's make it uh, like a slideshow should be two and here also just one okay um, yes yeah check it now yeah not applied again so let's just change the slight scroll to one and check it now again not applied where is the error So yeah there is no problem just it needed a refresh okay when i refresh that was working okay correct okay now two smaller devices just one okay so now let's customize these arrows 
so to customize this we already copied this arrow so now let's come here and come here to the responsive uh, sorry custom arrow and just copy this next and previous arrow and this theme here right instead of this we will call our arrow that we created okay paste it here let will call this one and we will pass props and we will take class name style and then click from the uh, props and then we will assign them and just change the background color uh, to black okay so let's check it see the background color has changed okay so also we can assign more properties just by exploring Uh, exploring the documentation okay you can add effects and auto play and something is you can add more and more properties okay so let's just display a one for larger devices okay how it looks like yeah to display one it looks like this okay see looks like this so it was all about uh, react carousel and how to use it okay i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching